Drupad singing uh, is very, very ancient way of uh, expression of the soul. Это очень древний способ стиль выражения чувств души. And uh, this form of singing comes before the classical uh, that we hear on records or radio, the classical singing of India or the music of India. Yes, it is devotional music, so it starts by listening. Mm-hmm. So listening is so important, very, very important. Uh, we have to realize the importance of our ears. Yes. Our ears are um, it's a very thin mem- membrane of uh, skin inside and it's very fragile. And it's um, super sensitive also. And um, generally, with the the some the some scars we get, uh, some people have a better capacity of hearing than other. Yeah, we can say even emotions can block the capacity of hearing. Or um, dirty body, like means bad health, can also block some frequencies, and we don't have hear those frequencies, but we hear most of the frequencies. And it, it can go up to uh, death. Do, do do How do you say in English? Not hearing. Death. Death. Deafness. 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 So yeah, that is very, very sad because then we can't hear, of course, the music, but we can't hear the Shrimad Bhagavatam, and then we are lost forever <laughs> for this life. Yeah. And also, Drupad is not about singing to uh, an audience, to a public, but is to sing to the Lord. So everybody can practice, everybody should practice his Drupad uh, at home in front of his deity. Поэтому каждый должен заниматься пением Друпад дома, находясь у себя перед алтарем и воспевая для Божества. We can say also it's like cooking. You prepare the best um, food, the delicious delicacies um, to your up, upmost, topmost qualities, up topmost, yeah. Мы можем провести аналогию с приготовлением пищи, то есть мы готовим самую лучшую еду, самые вкусные отношения для Кришны. Mm. So you have to collect ingredients. Для этого вам нужно собрать ингредиенты. So in the Drupad we have mainly uh, the seven notes. Drupad есть семь нот в основном. And the rhythm. И ритм. But we also have timbre of voice. А также есть тембр голоса. All this is linked to our emotions. And we know we are made of emotions. <laughs> the stai bhav and all the bhav. 
So, uh, conjuncted with the knowledge we receive um, from the Srimad Bhagavatam and the teachings of Mahaprabhu, from, the, from Gurudev and, uh, and uh, Vaishnavas, also, then we uh, receive a lot of um, ingredients that we can put in our offering of singing. А от них мы получаем очень много ингредиентов, которые являются составными частями нашего отношения к этому yes. боем. So each note is separated or, let's say, we have a, a principal note, which is the base, and which is everything also, because it's the manifestation of Aum. Есть одна главная нота, которая является базой, это проявление Aum. From center to, let's say, Mm, external, we have a lot of variations inside the same note. No, in the Western world it's called harmonics, and uh, I guess uh, uh, I, I, w I would love some confirmation about that, but uh, I think this, this is the Shrutis also. Uh, they call it Shruti in, in Indian music anyhow, all the spaces in between the notes. Uh, Shruti, yes. Западной uh, музыкальной традиции это называется mm -hmm. гармония, harmonics, mm -hmm. harmonics, yes. how many? Harmonics, harmonics. This I, I will sh I will show you some um, example. Like listen to the tampura. It's very rich. Sounds between the main notes. Yes, it's not just one sound like on electronic. You have one sound, and only that. This vibrate in all direction is due to the 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 waves. They break into many sounds, and they again meet others breaking part and again create other sounds yes so it's very rich in sound то есть речь идёт об очень богатом спектре звуков не только а не просто одна нота и вот все ноты ничего между ними а очень много разных вариаций очень много разных отзвуков очень богатый спектр yes so now we have the instrument which, which gives the the sa the the om the the basic note Вот инструмент, который дает ом, са, са, главную ноту. Yeah, sound, where all the notes meet, is the sum. Сам это то, где встречаются все ноты. This sound will go all along. It will never stop. Yes. And then we choose to enter into that sound. Enter into the sound. Yes. Hmm. So I give an example. Here we have the pa, the fifth fifth note. And then we have sa. The fundamental note. This is the entry. Mm. Introduction. Like we call for the uh, supreme in the form of sound. To manifest. Mm -hmm. So you know well what it means. Aum. So now we're going to practice that huh? because we, this is one hour course for beginning. I want uh, not much give of information but more for you to practice. So we'll practice that. Aum. Like this. So all together. As much 
much you can prolong it and make it slow as we start from the lower note and go up to the main note. Again, more long. So now we'll enter into that uh, land or that plane of vibration and we'll discover which are the notes there. So we have many notes, but some are more important than the others, and it creates uh, different possibilities of um, modes, different modes. Yes, we will not touch all the modes today because in one hour it's too short, but uh, we'll explore at least one or two so you can understand the differences. Like you already have some knowledge, I know. Professor uh, mode means. Yeah. So I'll show you um, the sa and the re, and then you can repeat that. So I will choose a re which is near to the sa. This is called komal re. a little bit is that what you can notice we have slide we slid slide we slide the notes from one note to the other we used to pass through all the shruti the spaces in between the vibrations Yes. So when you practice by yourself, no, it is very important. Hmm? 
So you, you choose, like you can download the application Tempura, put the Tempura where you are comfortable, and then listen to your sliding and go where your, the note is calling, like where you feel it's beautiful. So you slide from one note, slowly you go up, and when you feel, oh, this one resonates, then this is a good ingredient for you. And then you go up and up, huh? and you have to know that the, the, the names of the notes. So we have seven names, like uh, Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Dha, and Ni. Then after that is again Sa, and then again Re, and up, and down is the same. The Sa never, never moves. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, очень важно, если вы будете заниматься дома, вы можете скачать приложение Tempura. И там вы можете ну, просто включить какой-то звук и начинать пробовать петь. И очень важно совершать вот это вот скольжение, чтобы ноты скользили. Вы просто слушаете ноту и стараетесь пойти в звук. И когда вы чувствуете, что ну, на слух просто вы чувствуете, что что-то красиво, что что-то резонирует, вы можете идти в это и пригласить это как ингредиент для вашего пения. И есть семь. Семь-семь. Uh, four notes that can be uh, five notes can be changed in that the the sa and the pa never are changed and they are never put up or down huh? we can slide to them and we can slide from but the the stability uh, don't change um, on the sa and the pa you can translate uh, just, uh, uh, и а, вот некоторые из них меняются, пять из них меняются, а five can change and two don't change. Five can да, change. Да, пять нот, нот могут измениться, а две ноты са и па никогда не меняются. Uh, then these five notes which can be changed, um, the two next two sas, that means re and ga, can be pure uh -huh, or uh, they can be lowered. Ноты ре и га могут быть э, чистыми, а могут снизиться. Yeah, and then they are called комал. Тогда они называются комал. Вот no. сейчас у нас было ре. The okay. same happens with да and ни. They can be pure or комал. То же самое с нотами да и ни. А они могут быть чистыми, а могут быть сниженными. Yes, and then the ма cannot get down. It can only put a little bit up, like it go, it becomes ma sud or ma tibre. А ma не может понижаться, зато она может повышаться, и тогда она становится ma sud или ma tibre. Hmm. So like, this is what you need to know, and then by practicing you will recognize this. Это этого достаточно для вас сейчас, и вы просто будете дальше определять это на слух, если будете практиковаться. So here we get. Sa, Re Komal, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da Komal, Ni, and Sa. When I say nothing needs to know the note, it means Sud, means pure. То есть вот сейчас мы услышали ноты, и если нет никакого добавленного слова, это означает, что ноты чистые. Sud means pure. Sud, Sud means pure. Sud the Bhakti. Tibra Tibra is yes. Like in the uh, in the uh, Tibra or Sud. Sud is the Kamal you got Kamal Komal Kamal depends the pronunciation. <laughs> Means lowered. Kamal means soft or lower. So, like the here in um, in this uh, mode, we get. Sad.
Gama Padha Nisa Sa Nira Pa Ma These two notes, um, Re and Dha, are Komal. These two notes, Re and Dha, Komal. So now let's uh, sing it. Very important to sing it. So I, sh I show you the way, like up to Pa. Now um, I will show you up to Da, and when I come down to Sa, you can start. Otherwise, that to, everybody starts in the same time. And also, I want to say, when we sing, we should feel that my voice disappear, disappear into the sound. Huh? It's not I, because otherwise, I want to hear myself. So I will or chant louder or out of tune. <laughs> So that that creates a difference, and I can hear myself. And uh, we have good examples here who could like not uh, hear the difference, but who after some time could correct themselves, hear the difference, and enter into the sound. And now leading beautiful kirtans. Тембуры, потому что если мы захотим услышать себя, ну, чтобы этот звук слился. Потому что если мы захотим услышать себя, мы либо будем петь громче, чем надо, либо мы будем петь не, не то. И у нас есть хорошие примеры, что кто-то сначала не умел так делать, а потом научился. it a bit all together in this tempo. So after. 
the, the, this way of teaching is very ancient and we should come back to that. This is the way the children learn. Uh, so you have done your university and everything, but I want you to erase all of this. <laughs> like we should learn by the ears. Uh, and uh, it's quite uh, difficult for those who have the habit to write everything down, but uh, this is the best way because um, we write in the blackboard of the mind. It should be like, mm -hmm. I'm not able even, but I, <laughs> I say it can be good <laughs> if we can do. Многие закончили университеты и привыкли все записывать, но мы сейчас должны научиться учиться вот таким способом, очень древним способом слушания. Это очень важно, потому что все записывается на доске нашего мозга. So like now I want like we practice this scale with the, uh, this speed we go up and down and up and down and up and down three mm -hmm. times okay that is warming up the voice <laughs> so It's very important, um, in the beginning, I advise not to read in the same time. No, read the name of the notes. But you may learn them, like uh, you write them on little paper, like you learn a shloka. By heart you learn, you can keep in the pocket, and until you know by heart. This can be done, but when you sing, you should you should only sing. And balance between hearing your voice and voice of others. This is most important. We try to uh, cook together. So if someone put too much salt. Every pre uh, preparation of everybody is finished. <laughs> so it's like that. We should be like it's a teamwork, and I love this uh, this way because uh, it teaches us to have a perfect relation through the ears. Это настоящая командная работа. Это очень здорово, потому что это нам позволяет установить отношения такие через слух. Mm. So and that now this um, we can experiment it. It takes a little bit, but uh, we'll do the same thing, but with a, o, e, 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 and u. So you listen to me, and then you when when I change the. Like uh, we will go up and down, we'll go a little quicker, I think, and then. Yeah, it's like always like uh, in our sampradaya we have uh, uh, someone who leads and the other are answering. It's a bit like that. So now I am the leader for that. So you listen carefully to me and uh, try not to um, overcome me. Good.
this is very essential to warm up the voice and to create the possibility of so many harmonics in our voice. А понимаете, что очень-очень важно вот так вот развивать голос mm. и тренироваться разрывать голос mm. и пробовать разные такие вариации между нотами весь спектр. Mm. And when we chant Rupad, actually, we use that so much. Like uh, I, I give an example. <laughs> using with uh, some uh, consonant also but it can be also without consonant in Drupal traditionally we use consonant mm -hmm. uh, that I've uh, read in some uh, I think it's Jiva Goswami's uh, method of learning Sanskrit yes he explains that the vowels are the divine and the consonant are the living entities the, 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 vowel, man. the vowels are called Sarveshwaras. Sarveshwaram. And the, and the uh, consonants are called uh, Vishnu Jan. Ah, so Vijay. the Vishnu Jan, the devotees of the Lord, can mm. only be pronounced if they're together mm. with the uh, Sarveshwara, the Supreme Lord. Ah, oh, wow. They cannot exist separately from the Supreme Lord. Ah, 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 ah. So it's like, yes, it's, it's, a, it, it's a good way. Oh, yeah, you want to translate for uh -huh. our Russian friends. <laughs> А вот сейчас Бимон Прабу пел и с гласными, и согласными, а обычно в традиционном пении используются гласные в традиционном рубопении. И вот сейчас еще Голодай добавил, что у Шрила Дживада с вами, в учебнике по санскриту, написано, что гласные – это консонанс А. The vowels are the sarvashras and the consonants of Vishnu Das. Гласные – это называется сарвешвара, а согласные – Вишну Дас, то есть это преданные. Because consonants cannot be pronounced without Sarvashwara, with, without the vowels. So as a, a soul, a servant cannot live without the Supreme Lord. Mm. Mm. So it's like uh, when you practice at your, uh, with yourself, like, you can already enjoy, without knowing the names of the notes, you can take one of the mode and explore like this. So you, you, I, I gave you uh, today this uh, mode, which is um, uh, Bhairav mode, uh, of, uh, and then um, you can explore the um, relation between the nodes. So it gives something like what I've given. Вы можете самостоятельно это исследовать дома. То есть вы берете одну модальность, вот сейчас, например, Бима вот показал вот эту вот, называется Байрав, и можете просто практиковаться и пробовать и узнавать отношения между нотами. So it's all about learning the relation between the notes. Очень важно, да, познавать отношения между нотами. Plus the plus the vowels and the consonants. И также сочетать гласные и согласные. So it's already a lot of ingredients. Это уже составляет много ингредиентов. And we didn't yet put rhythm. Но мы еще не добрались до ритма. So I don't know how much time we have more. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay. So like uh, now it would be very important uh, that I give you some light about um, rhythm right? because it's fundamental. Yes. How do you have Swami calls the vocals? Sorry? How do you have Swami calls the vocals? The vocals. Sarveshwara. Yeah, Sarveshwara. So regarding rhythm. Pardon. 
regarding the rhythm, uh, we have to um, understand one fundamental point, which is the, the in English we say the beat. The rhythm очень нужно понимать рифм, я бы сказала, вот такой меру. Мир. Бит. Бит. Вот кто знает слово бит, но ритм. Это бит. 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 I don't know which machine you named it. Metronome. 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 In French we say that also. In English also, okay. So, this is so important. And it's difficult to keep it because our heartbeat and our biorhythm change a lot. So we have to find a way to keep the, the beat at the same time. So each beat is counted one. It's one, one, one. One and then we divide under. So for that there is a method which is called konakal in the south of India, which is said coming down from Shiva. Очень важно следить за ритмом, за правильностью ритма, чтобы это он был через строго определенный отрезок времени. Это может быть сложно, потому что наши биоритмы они ну могут меняться. И вот очень важно следить за ритмом. И один бит, один вот этот вот мерный отрезочек музыкальный. Uh, он называется единицей, а дальше внутри него различные деления ритмические, они будут, ну просто вот единица будет делиться. И это uh, называется, what, what it's called, конакал? Конакал. Это называется конакал, и это пришло с юга Индии от Господа Шива. Yes. So it is said that uh, the first um, four sounds came out of the Dumru because he escaped from his hand and while falling it made Ta, Di, Tom and Nam. Dumru. Yes, Lord Shiva is expert in dance and because he's expert in dance, he's also uh, expert in rhythm, he's of course himself Mahakal. <laughs> so, these four sounds I want you to learn, and we will um, then play with it. As, so, I, I use always, we use always our hands as counter. And we have uh, like 16 here, 16 marks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 16, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we can, if we count 12, we take only 3, and if we count 8, we take only 2 fingers. It's one of the way. So it, it makes ta, di, tom, nam. Then I want you to report, repeat with me. Ta, di, tom, nam. And you, you can remark there is a melody already. Ta, di, tom, nam. And then the next is ta, di, tom, nam. Ta, di, tom, nam. Ta, di, tom, nam. Ta. Then we are back to one. So from one to the other, we cut in regular parts. To we divided so that the 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 time is counted regularly. I don't know if you catch. But I hope you catch. So we can also keep very slow tempo and in the between cut in too many different rhythm decoration alankar and make the the whole play very joyful or very sad or whatever emotion we want to express. Например, можем такой сделать ритм очень медленный и тогда в середине вот этих вот отрезочков отметок можно уже делать всякие украшения алангары. So to count, to uh, learn to count, 
we will also do it like this. Ta di tom nam, ta ta di di tom tom nam nam, ta 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 di 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 tom 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 nam nam nam, ta 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 di 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 tom 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 nam 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 ta. Uh, it is very w uh, a good uh, practice to learn uh, to cut the rhythm, the beat, into uh, two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. So it helps to enter into the different sequences that can be given uh, or played uh, for the purpose of our offering. Вот это очень-очень важная практика, э, так играть с ритмом. То есть сначала у нас есть э, вот один звук, да, потом мы его просто делим на два, на три, на четыре. Это очень хорошая практика, которая нам помогает делать so, наше подношение. So, like, uh, we, we, we could practice a little bit of that, and uh, then um, to show you the possibilities we have, there, there is also um, some uh, uh, syllabus, that are rhythmic that can be added in between the ta di tom nam mm -hmm. the the syllables ah. some syllables can be added like kita uh, uh, takita tarikita takadimi takajum so it becomes like ta kita di Kit tom, kit nam, kit, and we can count like a metronome like this. But we can play with many of these tarikita, takajim, takajimi, takajum, etc. To make it like a drum. And for those interested, there is a lot of good teachers from South India who are putting their lessons on YouTube. So, if I, so if we want to research. And actually, the North Indian uh, system is quite similar. It's very similar. Mm -hmm. We use the name of the. Uh, we we give names to the different um, uh, touch on the skin uh, of the drum to create a language, and then. То есть создается особый язык. Даются имена разным видам прикосновения к коже на мриданге. Получается такой язык особенный. And it's no need to learn a lot. Uh, if you are not a drummer, but to know a little bit of the principles, it's very important. Then you know you can recognize someone is playing in 12 beat, someone is playing in 13 beats, or 17 beats, or 10 beats, uh, like this. Если вы не барабанщик, вам не нужно становиться экспертом в этой области, но все равно очень важно иметь такое базовое понимание ритма, и тогда вы сможете на слух распознавать, что кто-то играет вот один бит, второй бит, десять бит. So in Drupad we have uh, uh, Drupad means always 12 beat. Drupad означает всегда 12 beat. Mm. Chow tal or Drupad tal. Drup Chow tal or Drupad tal. tal. Yeah, the two names we give. There is another one, like another one can be played. Um, let me remember the name. It's also 12 beat. It's played a little bit differently. So there is chartal, which also uh, it's, it's also uh, called drupatal and ektal. So chartal goes like this: dha dha din ta kit dha din ta te te kat gadi gin dha, like this one cycle. And ektal will give din din dage tirikit tu na kat ta dage tirikit di na din. Like this. There is ektal. 
So by, uh, by uh, like in, in my workshop and generally we uh, work it, we, we go deep into it. So a workshop for me is um, like less than one day, like three hours in the morning, three hours in the afternoon. Is like all the, or, or otherwise we can mix it with other uh, situation, but uh, like three hours is uh, some, something good for one day, so that we learn and progress. And we because then if we do it for on one week, three hours one day, three hours the next day, three hours, then you capture everything, and it helps for keeping attention awareness mm -hmm. and it helps to understand um, how to listen uh, those beautiful verses said by the Mahatmas and the super advanced devotees um, because we, we can easily catch the melody we catch also the rhythm and then although we don't understand on the platform of intellectual we capture and understand with the heart so it's very advised to do like that Очень важно серьезно практиковаться. Вот Бигман Карбу говорит, что обычно у него в семинаре такие занятия, поэтому пению идут три часа каждый день. То есть если на протяжении недели три часа каждый день вы будете заниматься, то уже вы почувствуете, что вы ну, понимаете, вы схватываете, что происходит. И это очень важно, чтобы понимать стихи, шлоки Грудева, Вайшнавов, потому что есть определенная мелодия, есть определенный ритм. И если даже мы не понимаем значение, то все равно на слух мы, мы это попадает в наше сердце. So we have short time now. So if there is any question, I would be pleased in my capacity to answer. Время подошло к концу. Если есть какие-то вопросы, пожалуйста, задавайте. Everything is clear for you for now. So yes. About the saliva, remember. About what? To swallow saliva and don't be there. I think it's also very important. Mm -hmm. I, I don't capture what you... Oh, yes, the four principles. Yes, thank you. I was... Like, uh, regarding singing, uh, I, uh, in my workshop, I always give that uh, four principles. The first being swallowing saliva. I found, uh, by practicing uh, the singing, that if I don't take... S because saliva is... Um, I mean, we do it without thinking. It's like breathing. We don't think of it. It's natural. So, but if we sing and we don't know where to put, then we stop swallowing, and then our throat becomes dry. But more than that, the more I swallow, the more I realized it's also accelerate the whole lymphatic lymphatic system, and then it's a cleaner. It's a full cleaner. And then it can help a lot uh, also when you are listening um, to um, uh, swallow saliva means not just wait that some water is there, but to be conscious of how much water and then call for more water. But by thinking it works, just um, calling the water, like if you think my saliva is abundant and, uh, and sweet, uh, uh, with a fine taste, you will see the change. It's, it's amazing. It's very interesting. There are four principles, which he always says. The first one is to eat the water. In that moment, we don't think about it, we do it automatically. But here, we need to approach it consciously. If we are going to sing and we will wait until there is enough water in our body, then this is our attempt at our singing. So we need to do it consciously. И как бы не ждать, пока слюна накопится, а глотать ее. И, и вот еще Бибо говорит, что по своему опыту это очень такая способствует очищению вообще этой процедуры и очень полезно. Not only the... Sorry. Go on, go on. Yeah, you don't know. Okay. I was like... <laughs> like, not only that is that when you swallow saliva, you become conscious of all your um, instrument. The body is an instrument. Тогда вы начинаете понимать, что тело это инструмент, вы больше осознаете его. After swallowing saliva, you're taking the air is more clear. И когда вы после того, как вы проглотили слюну, вы вдыхаете воздух, он более чистый. Mm. So that is for this principle. Uh, the second being the yawning. Yawning. Второй принцип зевать. When we yawn, 
uh, generally um, by education we are said like to put the mouth and to put the the mouth. And not disturb, make no sound. <laughs> But regarding singing it should be just the opposite. Like when we are yawning, we are in the best position to chant opera. То есть, когда мы зеваем, мы в лучшем положении, чтобы оперу петь. So we should not have uh, any, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, by yawning also it cures a lot of emotions. А также посредством зевания очень много много эмоций выходит из нас. As well as uh, swallowing saliva, sometimes we may have some bad some scars, some bad bad feeling about something, and it's. Hidden. We have, uh, Возможно, у нас in... есть какие-то uh, сам скары не очень хорошие, какие-то эмоции скрытые. Yeah, emotions, hidden emotions, like we don't want to see. But by swallowing saliva, it can come to your um, con conscious mind that all of a sudden, you, you, oh, you, you have a feeling coming because you were blocked and you didn't dare to swallow the saliva. То есть, предположим, что есть какая-то скрытая эмоция, которую вы не хотите видеть, и вот когда вы, и создается блок в теле, и когда вы глотаете слюну, или когда вы взеваете, то эти эмоции, эти чувства, они могут выходить на поверхность, и вы их осознаете. Then this, that emotion is not digested. И тогда эта эмоция не, ну, не идет в ваше тело, не вредит ему. So this and yawning, also yawning is very good to... Взевать See? <laughs> so take the opportunity. <laughs> Then the next one is to laugh. <laughs> When we are laughing, we, if we uh, accept to uh, listen carefully what we are laughing, It's a lot of revelations in itself. И если мы будем прислушиваться к собственному смеху, вот к нашему самоощущению, когда мы смеемся, тоже у нас очень много откровений. It's also curing a lot of. Это только это тоже излечивает нас. Past emotions and and the same. So don't minimize it. Huh? Just try to. Не относитесь с пренебрежением к этим вещам. Like this and crying. И плакать. Crying the same. And sometimes. Like uh, when you uh, take an instrument and try to sing, if uh, if it's not coming, uh, something it goes wrong. Your voice is uh, not perfect or not the sound you want to hear. Is because uh, some emotions are blocked. So by searching, by swallowing, by yawning, by forcing yourself to laughter or to cry, then many good things can come out. А, бывает так, что вы берете инструмент и ничего не получается, ни как бы, инструмент не для звука, который вы хотите, и голос ваш тоже не справляется, ничего не получается. Это означает, что есть какая-то заблокированная эмоция, что-то скрытое, и тогда вам нужно до нее докопаться. То есть вы можете позевать, вы можете даже заставить себя посмеяться, поплакать, и тогда эта эмоция выйдет, и тогда что-то удивительное может произойти. Thank you very much. I just, I just want for to close over. I just want to chant the first Drupad uh, words sung by, I mean, the preparation of Drupad by Dhruva Maharaj. Thank you.